Hi everyone and welcome to the Fox 56 Sports Show driven by Toyota. I'm Erin Dugan. On tonight's show, Bob Ide brings us a preview on this season's Bucknell University women's basketball team coming off a 17-1 record in Patriot League play. We also head to Dunmore to chat with the girls' basketball team who made it to the Final Four in the state last season. Well, even though his football season is over, we'll get to know Scranton senior Jacob Watts as he gets ready for basketball season. We talk shoulder stability and how it affects athletes tonight with the staff at Marywood University. And our featured cheerleaders this week are from West Scranton High School. During the week, make sure to follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Let's start things off in Lewisburg tonight. The Bucknell women's basketball team is coming off a red-hot season in Patriot League play and hoping to continue their success. Here's Bob Ide. Records are hard to beat, but for the Bucknell women's basketball team, matching them might not be that hard. Last season, the ladies finished 17-1 in Patriot League play, 25-8 overall, and went on to the program's first ever postseason tournament in the WNIT. The goal is still the same. Yeah, we want to be in kind of a similar spot that we were this past season. Uh, we keep saying that I, I think we can be a better team and should be a better team than we were last year. Obviously, injuries-wise, uh, we got to we got to make sure we stay clean there. Um, I don't know if 17 and one is going to happen again. I think that was pretty remarkable. Um, but I think obviously the the goal, as much as we talk about goals, um, the goal still remains that we want to make sure we're hanging a banner at the end of the season. It was a great experience last year because now we kind of know how we can win. We know that we're a good team and what we're capable of. And I think everyone has really taken that with them throughout the summer, like worked hard to get better, improve. You can tell in practice there's a lot more competition on defense to make like the opponent better, which has been great. And I think that our standards set so high for us as individuals, but also as a team. And I think that we're going to do great things with that. Leading Bucknell will be first team all Patriot League forward, Claire DeBoer. The senior who scored her 1,000th point last season will lead an experienced Bison team that features a multitude of talent. Yeah, I think our seniors have been through a lot. You know, they all played a lot, especially Megan and Claire as freshmen. Um, so I think our, our point guard position has been really good, kind of solidified with Megan coming back from an injury. Um, Kai, between Kai and Megan, I think that's about as good as it gets here in the league. Um, but I really think our posts have really come along. You know, to Claire DeBoer, uh, you know, being the preseason player of the year in, in our league. You know, she can play a multitude of different positions, but if you want to consider her to be a post, um, and Sune Sword also as a senior, I, I feel really, really good about where our posts are at. I feel really good about where our, our point guards are at. You know, I think we still have some things to prove at, at the wing spot because of some injuries that, uh, that we've been forced to deal with. Um, we have really great post players, and I think they've all worked hard, hard over the summer, and I know especially like Sune has come such a long way, so she's due for a great season with Debs and Slag also working hard this whole like preseason. I think that's our strength, getting rebounds, and then obviously our guards have been doing a great job like getting the ball into them and knowing how to pace the game, where the ball needs to be, and that's been some highlights of our preseason. A challenging early season schedule will help Bucknell prepare for the rigors of Patriot League games. Last season, the Bison lost to Loyola in the league tournament. This season, they have set their sights on the big dance. I think we definitely look at experience and like an opportunity because that we really had no expectations. Well, we had expectations last year, but not quite where we reached. And so I think that's great because now we can set the bar higher, obviously, and then go from there and use that experience to build off of this year. You know, we, we really have established that mantra, and I think the kids have kind of bought into that whole being about the process. You know, we really don't think about the Patriot League season, uh, we, we haven't really talked a whole lot about that right now. And, and even on, on any given Tuesday and Friday, we're, we're thinking about that next game. We're thinking about Wednesday. We're thinking about Saturday. I know it sounds boring. I know it sounds cliche as a coach, but, but ultimately we, we really don't talk a lot about what the record is supposed to be or what our achievements are supposed to be at the end of the season. It really just is the process of the game and, and nothing more than that. Um, yeah, it's great. I think that's something that draws some people to the Patriot League is because you never know who's going to win on what night. There's rarely any blowouts like when the first place team playing the eighth place team like there you still don't know who's going to win i think that's something that's exciting but also something we have to keep in mind that anyone can come in here and beat us on any night so we have to keep that in mind bucknell opens league play with navy on december 30th they meet army in the first game of the new year they wrap up their league play march 1st at home against lafayette uh, yeah, we lost uh, six seniors last year, and they were all great leaders of the team. You know, even though some of them didn't play, they were all great leaders. So um, definitely, me and Erica are going to have to fill in that leadership role. Just the two of us. Um. 